There is one unfortunate reality to life on the internet, and that is, regardless of how careful we are with our privacy and our security, it is always at risk. Because not only do we have to worry about our own password and our own security, but every single service and site that we sign up for, everybody who we have an account for, their security is also at risk. And if they happen to be hacked, then our information can be compromised as a result. And it is a terrifying thought. So how do you know if you have been hacked? And what do you do if indeed, unfortunately, that is the case, that you have been hacked? We will cover both of those today here on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And today on Dotto Tech, we are taking on what I consider to be a very important topic. How we can protect ourselves on the internet, even in light of the fact that often our safety is not in our own hands. When we sign up for accounts at any service or any company, if that company's uh, records are hacked, if their service is hacked, there's a chance that our account information and other personal information that we have shared with that company can be at risk. So what can we do about that? I mean, it's uh, beyond our control, the fact that these companies have our information. We have to sign up for different services. And if they, if their security gets breached, then what do we do? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to know if there has been a breach. And unfortunately, on that side, the, uh, uh, the different uh, companies on the internet are not very quick to share information of the fact that they've been hacked. And to be fair, many of them don't know for a very long period of time that they indeed have been hacked. So there's always going to be this kind of this, uh, th this gray area where uh, our safety is at risk and we don't know about it. But we do know about older hacks and we can do some research and see if our account information has been stolen by others or has been compromised. And the best place to do that, or maybe not the best place, but a place that most of us go to to start that is this site that has been around for a long, long time. Have I been pwned? You, this is a service uh, that you, will, you can type in your email address or your phone number or your username, and they will tell you if that record occurs in any of the breaches that they have a record of that have occurred historically. So I'm just going to type in my email address, which I have had for a very long, long time. And let's see what the results are. And if you haven't done this before, you should do this. This is a good exercise. It might be a bit of a sobering exercise, but it's a good exercise to do. Now, I actually know that I have been pwned in the past. And if we take a look at the report that is generated as a result of them searching my email address, you can see that there have been multiple breaches from Adobe in 2013, you go in that far back, to 123RF uh, and in March of 2020. Bitly got hacked at one point. A Dropbox was hacked. And that doesn't necessarily mean that for sure my email address or my account information was leaked at this point, but it was exposed. There's a chance that it could have been exposed at any of these points along the way. And so this you might find, as I say, sobering and upsetting, but it is not the end of the world. Now, what do we do if we have been hacked. Actually, before we go to what we can do if we have been hacked, how do you, is there a way, a notification system that will let you know if a report surfaces that a site has been compromised? And indeed there is. In fact, right here at I Have Been Pwned, you can say notify me and you can sign up. And there are multiple services that will do this. They will sign you up. And if they discover, if it's discovered in a breach that your email address or your account information has been shared, you will be notified. And for the most part, the companies that are going to offer this service are in the security space and they're going to want you, of course, to sign up for their service and, and purchase the different services. I've Been Pwned is brought to you by the folks at 1Password, which is a great password service. So there is there's a, a kind of an alternate, an, a, they're not completely altruistic in providing the information. There's a business case to be made. So just be prepared for that, regardless of who you sign up for, for notification. And we'll share in the description links to several different options that you have as far as notification and searching to see if indeed you have been compromised. But then, 
we reach the point where we have to say to ourselves, what do we do if we are compromised and how can we protect ourselves in that particular case? And so the first thing that you do, I, I, the first thing that many security experts recommend is for you not to use that account anymore, not to use that email address anymore to change email addresses. But I got to say, I think that that is very short-sighted advice. It's not the advice that I would share. Now, I am not a security effort, although I do play one in this particular video. But it's not practical for us to be constantly changing our email address when you see how often different sites are hacked. Instead, what we need to do is we need to have good password and account hygiene. We have to clean up and we have to constantly change our passwords and be as proactive as possible. So what I recommend you do, regardless of if your name appears, if your account appears in one of these hacks or not, is first and foremost, be using a good password management tool. Now, I can't tell you, nor can anyone else tell you what the best password management tool is. There's a lot of good choices out there. How to determine which one is best for you? Well, one that you like the looks of, that you like the price of, that comes recommended from friends who can support you in it, or perhaps you'll choose the one that's recommended by by that friendly online guy with a beard, myself, who uses LastPass as my password manager of choice. It serves me very well. There might be better choices out there. As I say, nobody can test them and know for sure which password manager is best. At least I don't believe anybody can tell you. But LastPass serves. And if you don't choose LastPass, choosing any of the other mainstream password managers, 1Password, KeePass, any of those, those are great choices. But please, set them up and use them. And yes, I know, you're saying, well, nothing's 100% secure, Steve. What happens if one of them gets hacked? Yes, nothing is 100% secure. There is a chance that you still might end up being compromised if you use a password manager, but the odds are astronomical against that because of the siloing of information. I won't go into the details of how the different password managers work, but they silo the information between your account on your computer or your device and their accounts and everything is separated. So even if a username, a, a database gets compromised, they can't attach that to passwords or to email addresses. There's, there's division between between them all so that the chances of a hacker being able to actually gain access to all of the account information they need is very, it's very remote, that chance of that happening. So number one is use a password manager. Number two is use two-factor authentication. I'm going to share with you a video that we just did on setting up two-factor authentication. And two-factor authentication, I think, is the best defense that you can do long-term to protect your uh, privacy and to protect your accounts. And I, I won't go through the explanation now. I explain it in the other video. But set up two-factor authentication. If you have a password manager in place and two-factor authentication in place, you are 90% of the way there to protecting your privacy and security. The other 10% is for you to frequently change your passwords, update your passwords and change them on a regular basis. Now that, to be honest, is a pain in the ass unless you're using a good password management tool. They make it easy for us to update and change our passwords. So you should do that on a regular basis. Another thing you can do is you can create what I call stocking horse accounts or an email address that you only use for signing up for free services and coupons and, and the different free trials that you want that aren't part of your core business or your uh, the most important things that you do. You keep your main email address for that and you use a kind of a burner email address address for the other services. And that's another good way to help protect yourself. So to recap, what can we do to protect ourselves when the internet is a big, bad place and people are trying to steal our information from other people and their security can be compromised? Number one, using a good password manager and changing your passwords frequently on that password manager. Number two, setting up two-factor authentication. Number three, changing your passwords on your major accounts 
frequently through the use of your password manager. And number four is if possible, set up a burner email address that you use for temporary things and for the more frivolous activities you do online. Plus, sign up for a notification service or at least occasionally visit a site like you've been pwned, have I been pwned, sorry, and in check to make sure and see if your email address is appearing in any of the recent breaches that are being reported. If you check the description below, I will have links to several different sites that will tell you if your email address has been included in any of the breaches and services that you can sign up for for reporting that to you in the future should something occur. I'm also going to include a couple of links to different password managers. There is one password manager in there, which I am an affiliate of in the spirit of full disclosure. That is 1Password. And there will be links there as well to some of our videos on using 1Password. As I say, and I am 100% honest with this, I don't care if you choose last password, one password, or any password manager. Just please, please, please choose a password manager, use a password manager, keep it up to date, and take advantage of the, of the security features that they offer you. It will be worth it in the long haul. There it is. I hope you found today's video to be useful. If you have, please, a like and a share is always greatly appreciated. And if I've missed any tips, anything that you think is important for protecting our privacy and security online, please share it in the comments. I appreciate all of your input. One last note is each week here at Dottotech, we host a free tutorial webinar called Webinar Wednesday. The topic is some area of productivity or content creation. If you haven't yet joined us, I encourage you sign up. It's free. I hope you will enjoy it. I know you will enjoy the content and I look forward to seeing you there. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.